Raja Sulayman, sometimes referred to as Sulayman III, Sanskrit, Slalaya Bebeyan, Abisadara, Sulayman (1558–1575) was the Raja or paramount ruler of the Rajanate of Manila, a fortified Tagalog polity on the southern half of the Pasig River Delta. By the time Spanish colonizers arrived in the early 1570s, Sulayman, along with his co-ruler Raja Matanda of Manila and Lacan Dula, who ruled the neighboring polity of Tondo, was one of three monarchs who figured most significantly in the Spanish conquest of the port of Manila and the Pasig River Delta. Spanish accounts describe him as the most aggressive of the three rulers, a characteristic chalked up to his youth relative to the other two rulers. He was penultimate indigenous paramount ruler Lacan or Raja, in the Pasig River Delta era. His adoptive son, baptized Agustin de Legaspi upon conversion to Roman Catholicism, was proclaimed paramount ruler of Tondo upon the death of Lacan Dula, but he, along with most of Lacan Dula's sons and most of Suleiman, S. adoptive sons were executed by the Spanish after being implicated in the 1587-1588 Tondo conspiracy, helping the Spanish Empire to further solidify its grip on Luzon and most of the Philippine archipelago. Names Spanish documents note that Suleiman's subjects called him Raja Mura or Raja Muda from the Sanskrit Raja. The Spanish glossed this name as Young Raja, a reference to the fact that he was Raja Matanda's nephew and heir apparent. The Spaniards also called him Raja Solomano Elmo. Ancestry According to the genealogy proposed by Mariano A. Henson in 1955, and asserted by Mahul in 1973, Suleiman was the 14th Raja of Manila since it was founded as a Muslim principality in 1258 by Raja Ahmad when he defeated the Majapahit suzerain Raja Avergirkaya. Spanish conquest of Manila 1570-1571 Raja Suleiman was there when the invasion of Legazpi occurred. His predecessor asserted ancestry from Alexander the Great, Lakanduli, whose predecessor was Kanduli, whose predecessor was Raja Nikoy who ruled the Muslim area in Manila before the Spanish invasion. It is believed that Islam would have disseminated all over the Philippines but for the Spanish invasion since both Luzon and Visayas saw the arrival of Islam. The Spanish conquest was fought against by Raja Lakandula, Raja Matanda, and their nephew Raja Suleiman. Brunei's Sultan had familial ties with the Borneo-originated royals who ruled Manila. Manila was converted by Muslims from Borneo. The war by Christians against Islam in the archipelago which terminated with the 1913 Bud Bagzik battle between Sulu and Americans began in 1571 when Martin de Goiti and Miguel López de Legazpi and their subordinate army of Visayans, Latin American soldiers and Spaniards attacked Raja Suleiman's Manila Kingdom of Muslims and conquered it. Being part of its ancient trading ports and traditional ally, the Spanish experienced spectacular and catastrophic military assaults at the hands of the Muslim Moros from the Sama, Iranan, Maguindanon and Sulic ethnicities after their conquest of Manila. This signaled the start of the age-old sovereign-based conflict in the archipelago. The royals and nobility of Brunei converted the royals of Manila to Islam and established familiar relations by matrimony which is why Raja Suleiman was a known Muslim when the Spanish arrived. Jalkapli M. Wadi wrote Raja Suleiman, Spain and the Transformation of the Islamic Manila. Miguel López de Legazpi, Juan de Salcedo, and Martín de Goiti led the invasion by the Spanish against Lacandula, Raja Matanda and Manila's final Muslim ruler, Raja Suleiman III. José N. Svila composed a Tagalog language Raja Suleiman bio. A monument dedicated to Raja Suleiman was erected by the inhabitants in memory of his resistance and martyrdom against the Spanish. Tondo ruled by Lacandula and Manila ruled by Suleiman were both Muslim since Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao and Sulu all experienced Islamic proselytization. Muslims were already all over the islands of the Philippines during the entry of the Spanish. This area was a pre-colonial Indianized kingdom of Srivijaya and at their arrival has already shifted to Majapahit Empire. 
The Spanish explorer Miguel López de Legazpi, searching for a suitable place to establish his capital after moving from Cebu to Panay due to Portuguese claim of the archipelago, sent Martín de Goiti and Juan de Salcedo on an expedition northwards to Luzon upon hearing of a prosperous kingdom there, Goiti anchored at Cavite and established his authority by sending a message of friendship to the states surrounding the Pasig River. Suleiman, who had been given authority over these settlements by the aging Raja Matanda, was willing to accept the friendship from the Spaniards. However, he refused to cede his sovereignty, and had no choice but to wage war against the new arrival's demands. As a result, Guiti and his army invaded the kingdoms in June 1570, sacked and burned the great city before returning to Panay. Tariq Suleiman and the Battle of Bankasay, 1571 Some controversy exists about the identity of the leader of the Maccabebe people that initiated the Battle of Bankasay in 1571. That chieftain is referred to by Filipino historians as Tariq Suleiman. In some versions of the Battle of Bankasay, Tariq Suleiman of Maccabebe and Suleiman III of Manila are the same person, while other contend that they are two separate individuals. Spanish documents do not identify the leader of the Maccabebe revolt by name, but record that he died during the 1571 Battle of Bankasay, resulting in a Maccabebe retreat and Spanish victory. Suleiman III, on the other hand, is clearly recorded as participating in the revolt of 1574, and thus cannot be the unnamed figure who died in 1571 at Bankasay. The Suleiman Revolt, 1574 when López de Legazpi died in 1572, his successor, Governor-General Guido de Levesiris, did not honor their agreements with Suleiman and Lacan Dula. He sequestered the properties of both kings and tolerated Spanish atrocities. In response, Suleiman and Lacan Dula led a revolt in the villages of Navotas in 1574, taking advantage of the confusion brought about by the attacks of Chinese pirate Limahong. This is often referred to as the Manila Revolt of 1574, but is sometimes referred to as the Suleiman Revolt and the Lacan Dula Revolt. Since it involved naval forces, the Suleiman Revolt is also known as the First Battle of Manila Bay. Friar Geronimo Marin and Juan de Salcedo were tasked with pursuing conciliatory talks with the kingdoms. Lacan Dula and Suleiman agreed to Salcedo's peace treaty and an alliance was formed between the two groups. Life after 1574 Some accounts from the American colonial era claim that Suleiman was killed during the revolt of 1574, but this once again seems to be the result of Suleiman being confused with Tariq Suleiman of Maccabebe, who had died in the previous revolt in 1571. A review of genealogical documents deposited at the Philippines National Archives notes that Suleiman lived past the 1574 revolt, in which his son Rahong Bago was killed, and lived long enough to adopt the children of an unnamed sibling to be his descendants. Suleiman is no longer mentioned in the accounts of events that took place from 1586 to 1588, which involved many members of his family. Descendants According to Luciano P.R. Santiago's genealogical research, Suleiman married his cousin, a princess from Borneo, and the two had at least two biological children, a son referred to as Rahong Bago, which means New Prince Roxa El Vago in the Spanish texts, and a daughter who would be baptized Doña Maria Laran. A legend cited by the government of Pasay City in the 1950s also says Suleiman had two children, a son named Sawaboy, and a daughter, Diang Diang, Princess Pasay, who would inherit from her father the lands south of Manila now known as Pasay and Paranac. However, Rahong Bago and his cousin Lamantalan were killed by the Spanish in November 1574, in the confusion that ensued during the attack of the Chinese corsair, Limahong, according to Santiago. Chicago's research, Doña Maria Laron had two daughters, Doña Inés de Hitim, the elder, who married Don Miguel Banal of Quiapo, and Doña Maria Guiñamit, who married a Don Agustin Turingan. Luciano P.R. Santiago theorizes that Don Miguel Banal was the son of the Don Juan Banal who was implicated in the Tondo Conspiracy of 1587. 
Santiago furthers that Don Miguel Banal and Doña Ines de Hitim are said to have begotten the second Filipino to be inducted into the Augustinian order. Fray Marcelo Banal de San Agustin, the oral legend cited by the local government of Pasay, in turn, says that Dayangdayang Pasay married a local prince named Maytubig and settled in the place called Balite. The legend says that they had a daughter named Dominga Custodio, who grew up to donate all her lands to the Augustinian order just before her death. Santiago, however, claims that aside from his biological children, Suleiman had descendants by adoption. Santiago's genealogical research suggests that Suleiman had at least one male sibling, who remained unnamed in the records, and who had died prior to the death of Rahang Bago in 1574. Suleiman chose to adopt the sons of this sibling, who were identified in records as Agustin de Legaspi, Don Gabriel Taumbasan, and Don Geronimo Bossi. All three adopted children of Suleiman participated in the Tondo Conspiracy of 1587, and only Taumbasan was not executed, having instead been sentenced to exile in Mexico for four years. Others According to Maranao history, Raja Suleiman Raja Indarafatra Raja Umakan Legacy In Rizal Park in Manila, the Philippines erected a statue to commemorate Raja Suleiman as a hero against Spanish invasion. See also References Raja Suleiman was no Carabao, understanding the Muslim question. Film Books, 2001 pp. 6. ISBN 978-971-8743-17-1. Raja Suleiman was no Carabao, understanding the Muslim question. Film Books, 2001. pp. 6. ISBN 978-971-8743-17-1.